Chocolate rain. That time it was for a goo. He asked me to say it. I don't know why. People now are asking me to say that more. Anyway, this is another random team that I just threw together. And this is the fifth one versus Ninja Cop. Ninja Cop is always willing for to do a battle. That's why I'm a... Uh, I always like to uh, battle him because he's always willing to do one. So I forgot to turn my camera sound off uh, until that point in time. And um, yeah, so the battle goes on the way. He fake outs. I use U turn. Switch to Blastoise. Predicting a switch or to something, but he doesn't care. He's just going to set up his stealth rock, which is smart on his end. And uh, I just stay in and let him close combat me. Didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. My toxic misses, but that's my luck. I don't. Ugh. It's, it's, I'm over it. So I surf. Does a decent amount to the Skarmory. Considering Skarmory doesn't have the best special defenses. Gonna switch out now. Go back to Dizani. He sets up a layer of spikes. Uh, which is not too good. He now withdraws and goes to Suicune, thinking I might surf, but I'm actually going to use Hidden Power Electric. And I really do love Blastoise. Uh, I just started using this thing. It's a Choice Specs Blastoise, which is amazing. Love this thing. It could use a little bit more speed, but maybe I'll make a new set and uh, play around with that a bit. So I hit him power while he starts calm minding, and Blastoise is just like, uh, I come from the hood, man. I can, I can definitely take a sweet hoon. So he, I hit him power again, and Blastoise is pretty much owning Sweetcoon, but Sweetcoon thinks, oh, I have the upper hand in junk. But, oh, you figure out it's a speed tie at the end, and epic Blastoise maneuver to take out Sweetcoon. So Sweetcoon goes down, and... He sends in a Porygon 2. I send in Snoozer, predicting the discharge. But he found a ways instead. And I drew off. I sent it in him just so I can send an ape because I know he's going to ice beam. Just to lure it off. The luring technique, whatever you want to call it. So he ice beams me like I thought. And he thought he could survive. He said smoke on set say he can survive at least one unboosted close combat. But it is boosted because it's stab. Plus life orb, that's boosted. So, that's boosted a lot, actually. So he's going to fake out here. Ape is pretty much... Uh, I didn't feel like switching any, in anything on the uh, Inferno Ape, so I just let my ape die. He's going to close combat. And uh, Inferno Ape goes down. So I send in uh, Pratrigal, because I know I could take any one of his offensive moves with relative ease. He uses Fire Blast, which I times 4 resist, so I was just like, whoa, why why choose that over close combat? But uh, anyway, I get a free Dragon Dance up, and I'm going to Body Slant to take out the Infernape. I should have Dragon Danced again, because I, sh I think I should have been able to live another type of hit. But anyway, he switches into Skarmory. I use Waterfall, and Waterfall does uh, a good bit considering Skarmory's defenses. He drill pecks just to see how much it would do, see if it would KO me, but King has some decent defenses, so that's always nice. Give him Waterfall, and it almost takes out Skarmory, but uh, he uses Whirlwind, which is not good, and it makes me go back to Jirachi. Now going to use Fire Punch, and that's going to take out the Skarmory. So that's nice, and he has two Pokemon left. He switches them to Desnor, which is his own original set, which I commend you, Ninja Cop, for making one. He is Earthquake on uh, Toad, and does a decent amount of damage. Almost KOs me, but I get my Toxic off, luckily, because I didn't really have much to deal with Dustnor at this point. So he uses Payback. And takes out uh, um, Politoed. So I send in Snoozer now, knowing that he's 
probably not going to be able to do much to me. And even if he does have Ice Punch, I'm not worried about it. I'm just trying to get damage on it so I can KO it with one of my uh, offensive Pokemon that are left. So, he's going to withdraw and go to Dragonite. I misclicked there and used um, Stealth Rock, but it doesn't matter anyway. I was going to use Earthquake, but it wouldn't have affected Dragonite in either either scenario. So, he Dragonmates is up. And that's pretty dangerous once he got that Dragon Dance. But I wasn't too worried. I knew Gliscor might be able to survive. I had a feeling he would. And I survived with, I think, 12 HP. And it's going down, and yep, I survived with 12 and used Ice Fang to finish up the Dragonite. Uh, this battle was a long time ago, by the way. It was like a on Sunday or so. So, I don't really know everything that's going on. I'm going to use Earthquake. And that's going to do... Almost enough to KO Deathstorm, but it doesn't. He's payback, and that takes out Gliscor. So, I'm going to switch to Epic Blast Horse again and uh, finish it up. Finish it up with Surf, so good game, Ninja. Uh, comment rate sub, guys. PC you later. And uh, still looking into Mud's tier, so yeah, see you guys.